My name's Jonathan Parkins. I'm going to demonstrate with Maria's help today on how to use this foam roller, simple piece of equipment, on how it can be used to release tension in our muscles. Our muscles build up tension as the result of poor postures caused by gravity, caused by incorrect technique in exercises, and more than anything else, our lifestyle factors in our work and our everyday living. Here Maria is um, going to release some tight muscle and tissue across the thoracic spine, so the mid to upper back. Hold the foam roller adjacent with her armpits and move ever so slightly down until she finds a tight spot. And you want to hold that there for about 20 seconds or so. Maria here is demonstrating how to release the ITB or the iliotibial band. It's a band of fascia which runs from your hip to your knee. So obviously loosening up is going to create better outcomes for anything involving walking, running, using your hips and your knees. So she's going to start with the foam roller down at her knee. And she's going to roll slowly upwards towards the hip along the band of fascia until she finds a tight spot. Once you find a tight spot, you want to hold it there again for about 20 seconds. So Maria is going to release some tension in the calf now. She's going to roll slowly from her Achilles down at her heel all the way up towards her knee until she finds a tight spot. She's going to hold that for a period of 20 to 30 seconds and release it. And obviously you repeat on the, same, on the other leg. So we're going to release the, the tension across the glute max here. It's very important that we internally rotate the hip that we are going to release here. So she's just going to roll down until she finds a tight spot. Looks like she's found one. And again, hold it there for 20 to 30 seconds. That tight spot has been released. Once she's released this left hand side, she's going to repeat the process on her right hand side. The last one we're going to do today is releasing the tension across the hip flexors. Very tight band of muscle and fascia and connective tissue. Maria here has angled herself slightly to her left and she's put the foam roller on the sort of pressure point right where her leg joins the hip joint. So if we release this, we can generally take a bit of pressure off the whole hip flexor group. The same process applies. We just find that little ball of tension or knot. We hold, hold the foam roller on it for about 20 to 30 seconds. Release all the knots on your right hand side and then we'll repeat the process on the left hand side.